it's a monday it's a monday morning and uh as usual we keep on seeing to see, uh, trying to see how we can maneuver in the situation because it is very hot uh in our area here and almost everything has dried up uh, but uh we try to see that uh we keep the momentum the goats go very early they start grazing you can show them how the pasture is looking are you seeing that's how the pasture is currently so almost everything is dried up but still uh we have to we have to try and uh, our animals survive uh in such situations your goats have to be given a lot of water so that they drink a lot and uh they can go early than before during the uh rainy season when there is a lot of grasses uh, then you can uh, normalize the the time of feeding but uh in a dry spell uh, remember the the dew is limited so there is no worries that uh, if at all your animals go very uh, early uh, you're going to get uh, a problem of off and other related diseases uh, but uh it's quite good to let them go and they feed very early or earlier than before uh, so that they can get satisfi satisfied and uh, uh, you see that uh, your animals are really coping up with the situation so now there are certain questions that we are asking why are my structures raised why are my farms why do i uh, raise my structures uh, of course there are many reasons why we do raise our structures but to start with begin with first look at the the structure you look at the floor what are you seeing if you're not seeing anything then let me tell you what is here are you seeing the hygiene are you seeing how these animals are enjoying remember uh, the reason why i always tell you not raise your structures first of all you are preventing a lot of diseases that affect those people who are really having ground structures if an animal stays in such an environment maybe your workers are the ones to let you down but as uh, the farm owner it is really good that you have prevented 70% of the diseases that would have hit down your farm. You can come with me. You show them. You show them. You show how these babies are enjoying such an atmosph uh, atmosphere. Eh? This is very simple. There's no big science of of saying that we are going to write a book <laughs> about race destruction but you can see a god sleeping here hmm? and now they were they spent a night here but now it is already dry eh? it is already dry when the boys have have finished to clean it it is already dry and the the kids are enjoying it so what i say that raised structures are the best maybe you might be having people who are doing ground structures but they are having nightmares that will, they will not tell you they are having nightmares that you won't get to know about but when really they are facing a lot of difficulties in their setting up houses these are the components of the structure if you build such a structure you have to put the playground or exercising ground it's not necessarily that goats have to sleep in the structures they usually come in to sleep uh when maybe when it is raining when the 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 weather is not conducive for them but when we are in such an environment a, a dry spell then our goats there's no reason of of closing there they just enter and they get uh the shade this is the water you have to be uh the water has to be available 24 7 
even if uh, the goats haven't gone to feed or they have gone it has to be there so that's why i always tell you that uh, prevention is better than cure now um and another thing uh, that i wanted to talk about uh, is how you people you raise your structures how do you raise your structures are you seeing me i stand there and the reason why i enclosed also uh letting them to go down because i'm certain of of my boys that they are they can clean underneath so if they clean underneath then it, the environment is is uh is good for the goats to stay there is no problems that i'm going to face in the due course so uh at this farm i'm having over 160 goats at this farm of nakaseke uh, my other farms i'm having like 400 but now still management remains the same how you manage your your farm i gave you the uh, a simplified guide of how you can manage such farms uh to see that uh, uh you really benefit from uh, such a venture uh, like uh, the vaccination schedule uh looking after these animals seeing which one is not looking okay every day and you make sure that uh, you treat it in that if you do that i'm assuring you of a, of a, a win that you're going to win uh, this this kind of uh, farming so please uh, thank you very much uh, thank you for supporting kimdi construction and farm consultants limited but what i can say the grasses are dried up so we are we are going to try supplementing them uh to see that uh, they come up well but nevertheless we keep on seeing that we look after these animals because this is the business we are talking about thank you very much i'd like to say bye for now